In this video, you're going to learn how to create a simple lower third animation. So let's just preview this. Okay, cool. So this is really easy to do. What I'm going to do is just basically start from scratch and just delete all this. And I'm just going to keep my video here. Uh, I just basically dragged and dropped the video onto the canvas and I locked it so that it won't move when I'm editing. So let's just center that again and lock it in place. So to do this, it's really simple. You could go and add the shape tool, click on the shape tool here and click on the rectangle shape. And yeah, what you want to do is basically hold down shift when you scale. If you, if you don't hold down shift, you'll scale according to the ratio. So it won't, you can't actually adjust the shape. But if you hold down shift and drag, you can see now I can basically create any shape I want. So let's just go and maybe make it about that kind of size. Okay. And I'm going to call this one white. So just double click on that and type white. And what I'm going to do now is go to motion and I'm going to go uh, to in and I'm going to select slide right. And then I'm going to go to out and select slide left. So it comes in like this and then it goes back out like that. Okay, cool. So that's looking really good. I might just adjust the animation to make it about one second long. So it's a bit faster when it comes on and let's just preview this. Okay, it slides in like that. It looks, that looks really good. I'm also going to just right click on these animations and disable the fade. So right click on the animation, disable fade. So that it doesn't fade and it just comes in like so as one, uh, yeah, hundred percent opacity basically. And that's looking really good. So now what I'm going to do is simply just duplicate that by using command D. I think it's control D if you're on a windows and you can see I've got my top layer. I'm going to make this one green. So I'm just going to type in green and then I'm going to go over and select the, with the layer selected on top, I'm going to click on the color option over here and just simply change the color. So let's make it maybe something like this nice green color. And then the next thing I want to do is basically just zoom in a bit closer so I can see it a bit better. And I'm, all I'm going to do is just go through and offset it like so. Okay. So it's going to come in like this and then like that. I might make it a little bit less of an offset. So we've got this going like this. So let's just preview this. Cool. That's looking really good. And then what I want to do is basically add some text. So go to the text layer, click on the text layer to add your text drag it down here and I'm going to type in my favorite tennis player like that and that's looking really good okay so I'll just position that like so and I'll just drag this over so that when the, the thing slides in or the shape slide in the text will start appearing so what I want to do now is basically um, adjust this so I want to animate this so with the text layer selected you can go to motion uh, and go to in and you can either select fade or you can select slide right. I'm going to go slide right. I think it looks a bit better. And let's have a look at this. So it's coming in like so. And it looks pretty good. You could adjust the, you know, the, the speed as well. So let's just make, maybe it makes something like that. And I'll preview this. Cool. That's looking really good. And as you can see on the way out, we've got this going on. I just need to add the out animation for this one. So let's go to out and go slide left. So it will also slide out like this. And what I'm going to do is just zoom in a bit closer and I'll click on this arrow here. This basically brings everything up and if you click it again, it will bring all the layers down again. So you can see all the layers and the animations. So what I'm going to do is just bring this over a little bit and I'm just going to grab the white, uh, the green layer, sorry. And uh, maybe make it a little bit more across like this. So you can see the, the white coming across and then the green and then the text layer. So maybe I'll make the text layer a little bit further off as well. Something like that. Cool. So let's just preview what we've created. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, make sure to add a like on this video and add a comment and go ahead and create your own lower third animations inside Create Studio.